Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Fool. And in this video we're having a look at how we can customise add-ons. Okay, so let's have a look at how this started. I have a curve here and I want to set up a flowing shape along this. And to do that I was using an add-on called ND. It's free to get, you can just get it from the extension warehouse. Just go to edit, preferences, get extensions and search for ND here and click install. So if I go to ND, you can see I've already got it installed. You'll have an install button there. And like a lot of recent add-ons, a lot of this works off of geometry nodes. And what I'm gonna talk about should work for any add-on that uses geometry nodes to function. So there's that limitation here. We can't modify and customize every add-on, but if it's got geometry nodes in it, we can. So for example here, I just wanted to use this ND sweep and then I can pick so you have a profile object there, which I'm just using this circle. Uh, I will fill caps. And then from this, I wanted to be able to scale the profile, which we can do here. But importantly, I wanted to be able to scale all of the individual points of this. So I could basically make this thicker and thinner. Now in Blender, you should be able to do this with a curve. Let's just come into this A and then segments and subdivide that a couple of times to make this smoother. But we should be able to do this in edit mode by selecting a point and hitting Alt and S. You can see here this shrink fatten. And what that does is that affects the radius. If I bring up the M panel, let's just scroll up from where I put my screencast keys on. We've got this option for the radius and we can change this here or we can change this with Alt and S and it will change it there. And that should affect the radius of this cylinder. The problem being that it doesn't because of the way this geometry node is set up, it doesn't include this radius. So I wanted to add that in. So we'll have a look at how we add that in. But importantly, this should work for any geometry node based add-on. So the first thing on a Windows computer is you're gonna press Win and R. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what that is for a Mac, but you basically need to find your app data. So you're gonna type in percent app data percent, click OK, and it's gonna bring you to all of your app data. You're gonna find Blender Foundation, Blender, and then you've got your different versions of Blender. I'm in Blender 5, but you can see all my previous versions that I keep saved. And from this, you've got extensions and scripts. Now, depending on what you're looking for, if you go into scripts, you've got your add-ons. These have a tendency to be external add-ons from places like Superhive. So that gives you a place to go here. Or if we go back to extensions is normally where you get things from the Blender extension warehouse. Go to blender.org and you've got all of your different extensions. That's generally where you should find things. We want ND, and this is the bit where you're gonna to have to find where everything is hidden, but typically it's in a file called assets, and I'm gonna open my ND asset library. So this is what this file looks like. I've just turned on my screencast keys. So what we're gonna do is just bring in something to use for this so that we can just see the geometry nodes set up. So where are we? That's my ND sweep. So I'm just going to bring in a Bezier curve. Let's just S to scale that up. And control and A and apply the scale. And then we'll do the same thing, bring in a circle. Again, S to scale that up. Control and A and apply the scale. And I'll just move this over here. And this is so we can see this working. So I'll just bring in my ND sweep, add that to that. So let's bring in our modifier panel. And then I can select that I want this to work off of that. And we're just using this to see what's going on. I'm just going to tab into this segments and subdivide this a few times just so I can check that this is working and then I'm going to come up here and we're going to modify our geometry node setup so we need our geometry node editor now in this instance all we need to do if I can find it here's where we've got this so this is the curve to mesh that this is using we've got a lot of other bits to this as well which can do from the other menus but the only bit that I care about is I want to be able to use the profile as part of this scaling. And at the moment, it just uses profile scale, which is something we can put in here. So if I just shift an A and type in radius, we've got our radius there. So this is what we're going to need to add to this. And we're just going to combine both of these together. So I want to multiply. So let's do maths multiply, and I want the profile scale being multiplied by the radius, and then I can drag that into the scale. So at this point, I can bring the profile scale down, but importantly, I've now made this so that if I tab into edit mode and Alt and S, I can affect the scale or the size of these because we've got this radius just here. We can also do it here as well. 
and I can select multiples of these if I want and set the mean radius to, I don't know, let's call this 10. There we go. So now that is here. And this being part of the asset library that ND works off of will now be available anytime we use ND, but we must file and then save. Now, before you do that, it is quite a good idea that you might want to control and C to copy this and then make a file somewhere else. So for example, I've just made a file called add on original node setups, and I'm just gonna paste a copy of that in there so that if I ever need to, I can go back to this. The other thing to bear in mind is that if we ever uninstall and reinstall the add-on, it will come back to this as well, and it probably will do that as well if we update it. So you also might want to keep this modified file somewhere as well. So anyway, now that we've done this, I'm just gonna delete out that modifier that we've got there, come back, and this should have automatically updated. So I'm just gonna drag in ND sweep. Once again, select my circle, so just there, and you can see this is now working because we've got our radius. And I can once again, Alt S, and change this around as I choose. So now we've got the ability to change all of our radii as much as we want, but more importantly, we've changed this add-on to work in a way that we want it to. So hopefully that's been informative. As I normally do, I'll put this file up on the Patreon so you can just replace the old file with this one so you can have ND work in this way should you choose to. And as always, the Patreon is the best place that you can support the channel as well as allowing you to get these videos a week early and ad free and giving you access to things like the channel Discord. Other than that, if you're not interested in the Patreon or you don't have a few dollars to spare, just hitting that like button would be hugely appreciated as it helps share the video around. Hope to see you in the next one and have a great day.